All right, thanks, Carly. So after a few series on the road, Giants fans finally got to see their team play in a home game in San Francisco. The Giants hosted the Tampa Rays in their home opener. Could they pick up a win for the home crowd? Bottom of the eighth, Giants down 5-2, bases loaded. Their newest player, Kevin Pilar, at the plate, and he grounds into a double play. Rays go on to win 5-2. Giants have won just two of their first eight games. Meanwhile, the Oakland A's are definitely having a better start to their season, but playing the defending AL West champs, the Houston Astros. In the seventh inning, Jose Altuve lines one into left center field all the way to the wall. George Springer comes around to score, and the Astros beat the A's 3-2. They'll play again today at 4 o'clock. The Kings aren't technically done with their season yet. Even though they've been mathematically eliminated from the playoffs with just a few days left in the regular season. Taking on a very tough Utah team and the Jazz were just too much. They led pretty big almost, pretty much all night and won easily 119-98 the final. The Jazz have won seven in a row. The Kings are back in Sacramento tomorrow to host the Pelicans. And it's not every day that a football player from UC Davis goes on to play in the NFL. In fact, the last player selected in the NFL draft was JT O'Sullivan back in 2002. Only 17 players have heard their names called in the draft in the 100 years of football at Davis. So Keelan Doss would be the first Aggies player selected in the draft since Davis became a Division I program. The draft is in a few weeks, and Doss is likely to hear his name called, maybe even as early as the third round. All eyes were on him yesterday. Close to 20 NFL teams attended his pro day workout in the rain. Doss was the nation's leading receiver in his junior year and returned to Davis for his senior season, leading the Aggies to a big sky title. His eyes are now glued on going pro, and he talked to us about what he wanted NFL executives to remember about his workout yesterday. I just want to let them know that, you know, if you draft me, you'll get a guy that's a hard worker and I'm for the team. And I'm just here to make the team, you know, as, as good as I can. You know, at the end of the day, regardless who, pay, who drafts me, you know, I'll be grateful for that opportunity and uh, we should just make things work from there. So the dream is no longer make it to the NFL. The dream is playing in the NFL, you know, for a long career. And uh, that's kind of been like my transition, honestly, for these last couple of years. Is not just making it, but playing, having a, success, a successful career in the league. And it gave me the opportunity to be the person I am today. And uh, without UC Davis, I'm probably not standing here in this position. So, I mean, they took a chance on me out of high school, and I, uh, you know, I, I can't thank them enough for that. So, um, everything UC Davis has done for me though, has been wonderful, and I, I'm just so appreciative of them. And good luck to Keelan Doss. We'll be sure to let you know if he gets drafted and by which team. Okay, so Sac State is one of five California schools to participate in a competition at Sonoma Raceway this week. The challenge? Designing and manufacturing an energy-efficient vehicle completely from scratch. The competition, the Shell Eco Marathon. It's a competition that's been running for the last 12 years, challenging the brightest engineering minds in high school and college throughout eight countries. Sac State's energy-efficient vehicle is in its third year. Last year, they came close but didn't pass final inspection. This year, the Hornet Racing Team's goal is to pass overall inspection and enter the final competition, which takes place later today at Sonoma Raceway. My name is Adrian Calderon. I'm currently a senior at Sac State. My name is Brian De Dios. I am a senior here at Sacramento State studying mechanical engineering. Especially with family, um, they don't always seem to, to, to realize exactly uh, what is it that I'm doing. They just know that I'm working in my car. For them, they, they might think that I'm working on an actual car like the one I, that we, we drive every day, um, which is something that we're working towards. I want to come out with more solutions and more innovative ideas to be more efficient. Uh, we started three years ago. This being our third year, uh, we're involved in Shell Eco Marathon. We literally build a car from ground up, starting with the frame. <laughs> you have a connected to the. You have to have body panels. You have to have make sure all your electrical components are working, just like your everyday car. Crossing things off the list. If something comes up, you bring it to the group. 
bring it to whoever's more knowledgeable or whoever's working on the spot. This one's going to the ground, but we're going to have a common ground when it goes to the fuse box. We're, we're better off in terms of this year going into competition than last year. Last year we had um, a lot of failures. Really, I felt really, it just really put the group down for a bit. Um, personally, I kind of just broke down. Um, that design was very different and very um, overkill. Even then, like, I didn't let that stop me. Yeah. Coming back this year, we already had an idea and a vision of where we kind of wanted to go. I wanted to have more of a structure. And uh, success would be being able to go out and pass inspection. But not only that, being able to go out, being able to allow the members to grow with us. In the day, we're in very much better um, position than last year. And I think that's the, the beauty of it, that we're always growing and we're going to continue to grow. Well, the third time was the charm for Hornet Racing and their energy efficient vehicle club. You see their vehicle there as the finished product. This week's trip to Sonoma, a successful one as Sac State's vehicle inspection passed yesterday. It'll be up for competition later today at Sonoma Raceway. And of course, we wish them the best of luck. The top teams advance to the Shell Eco Marathon Drivers World Championship Grand Final in London coming up in July. Matey, 